Before I get into explaining this, I'll mention that this looks a lot more complex than what it actually is. All it is is a command block spawns a pigman in a certain manner, and then the rest of the command blocks take care of giving the pigman what he needs to be considered a ghost or lost soul, which is what I deem the name of the pigman in this video. And one other thing I will mention is this comparator clock updates these two command blocks, so when I start getting into how the names work and all that, this is what's happening. Any entity with the name of Kill Me teleports to negative 200 of where it's currently at, and any entity with the name of Soul is given invisibility with all particles hidden. Before I explain what you see in front of me right now, I will mention you must build facing north. If you don't, the command blocks are going to screw themselves up because they will not be setting the block in the right location. Anyways, this command block right here is not used at the moment. However, this one summons a zombie pigman with the name of Kill Me, while being ridden by another zombie pigman with the name of Soul. Some more things to note about the pigman that's given the name Soul is a custom name value 0. This allows it to not be seen, or er, its name not to be seen whatsoever. And then can pick up loot is set to true so that it can pick up what's going to be given to it later which is one of the things I'll explain after the next thing. So now what you're going to do is you're going to place a command block above and to the left and above and to the right of the first command block which I told you about. And you're going to do the same with the second command block except you're going to be doing it with dispensers. Now keep in mind they must be facing inward. After that you're going to go around back and add this. So what you're pretty much doing is going from Below the dispenser, placing the command block right to the back behind it, then you're placing a repeater facing into it with a block after the repeater with redstone dust on top. You're going to repeat that on the other side, and then you're going to add a command block into the middle. Now to explain the commands for the command blocks which we've added. This command block right here sets a redstone block all the way back here. And what that does is it gives a quick pulse to these command blocks. However, I'll explain this command block first. What this command block does is it sets a redstone block to above where the dispensers are, where that is right there. And these command blocks will set air where that is. So what this does in return is it gives these dispensers a quick pulse, allowing their contents to be spit out at the pigmen which will be picked up, therefore allowing them to look like a ghost with items. In other words, a visible ghost. As you know, dispensers have limited uses when they only have so many items in the dispenser. So the way to get around this is to use a block data command. What you need to do is set a command to have the coordinates of the dispenser. In this case, I set it to negative 2 so that it targets the dispenser. And then, I'm not going to get into explaining this whole lengthy command, but I'll have basic description of it on the screen right now. What it does is it sets the um, item in a certain slot within the dispenser. And then, when you hit that with the lever, redstone block, whatever, it'll update to fill the dispenser with what the command said. As you can see, there's only one in there right now, but when I throw a sword onto that pressure plate activating it, it still has the contents in there. Now you can see there's a floating piece of armor with a sword, which is really the pigment with invisibility. So that's pretty much all there is to this video. I hope you liked it. Please be sure to check out some other videos if you like vanilla Minecraft videos because I have quite a few of those on my channel. It's what my channel mainly revolves around. So anyway.